From rooftops to government gardens, embassies to office buildings, if you know where to look, you'll find them buzzing all over the nation's capital. We're talking about honeybees, and surprisingly, the cityscape has become a hospitable home for the resilient little pollinators. Christina Ruffini got an up-close look at the sometimes feared but often sweet honeybee, winning D.C. over one jar of honey at a time. In these unassuming boxes, on a secure compound near the U.S. State Department, government drones are hard at work. All this is honey. We have honey. This is all honey. Team-oriented, mission-focused bureaucrats. It's pretty heavy. It's heavy. Oh, it's really heavy. They might be the perfect federal workers. We try to keep them apolitical. Keith Hannigan is the State Department's Deputy Assistant Secretary in charge of operations, and also bees. Bees is really one of the most important things that I do here for the State Department. About 15 years ago, honeybee populations hit an all-time low. So in 2014, then-President Obama launched a national strategy to protect and promote pollinators. Oh, no, it's a bee. It's okay, guys. Bees are good. From the White House to a federal courthouse, even the State Department, hives started humming at government facilities across the country. We wanted to do our part, and we know that other agencies were getting involved as well. So um, it seemed like something small and simple that we could do. Thanks to the diligent effort of beekeepers, over the past few years, the honeybee population has largely rebounded and stabilized. But pesticides, mites, and habitat loss still pose a threat. Now you see them and you want to nurture them, you want to take care of them. So I think it's really raised the awareness, certainly for me, but I think for a lot of our staff. The swarm. That's because historically, bees haven't gotten very good buzz. Whatever you do, do not panic. Better known for ruining backlot picnics and causing the fictional anaphylactic death of a young Macaulay Culkin. But in actuality, bees and other pollinators are critical to the global food supply, pollinating about a third of the world's crops and three-fourths of all flowering plants. They're not going to be interested in you or your food. They're not going to be like, oh, there's a human, let's go sting them. Solomon Zhang is an urban beekeeper in Washington, D.C. Look at all that honey right there. That's awesome. Yeah. He says education efforts, especially in highly populated areas, for coming out to meet the bees. are successfully winning over hearts and minds. A lot more people are more aware of like how important they are, as well as like how cute they are. Like honestly, they're like, cute? yeah, they're very cute for me. Wait, wait, <laughs> okay, I'll come with you. Like, but explain to me what about the bees is cute. I mean, if you see a photo, they're fuzzy and round. It's almost like a teddy bear or something. Their cuteness might be up for debate but the sweet rewards of beekeeping are undeniable. Oh yeah, you can dip your finger straight into that corner there and take a little bit out. Just dip right here? Yep. Oh my gosh. Yep, yeah. and then right out. Right out. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's really good actually. On the rooftop of the Canadian Embassy, within sight of the nation's capital, Queen's Beyonce and Celine Beyon are living their best life. How many bees are in each bee box? Between 25 and 30,000 bees in this whole hive. Sean Robertson manages this facility for the Canadian government. He says these little goodwill ambassadors churn out about 100 jars of honey a year. I often say it's one of my favorite parts of my job is actually coming up here and uh, getting to work with the bees. Befitting the Canadian national stereotype, the bees were surprisingly friendly, which was good, considering the crew's unbothered take on donning protective gear. So you're going to give me two finger guns? I'm going to just rest it on your fingers. Okay. Beauty. Hi. So that's a, that's a frame of bees, right? It's, um, it's a lot of bees. As it turns out, a lot of bees is a very good thing. For CBS Saturday Morning, Christina Ruffini, Washington.